Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. Today we are gonna take a look at Material Tab Target Prompt Library. And by the end of this tutorial, you will know how to make this app. At the start, it starts the Tab Target Prompt on the floating action button. And as soon as you click it, it's gonna start a Tab Target Prompt on the button. But this time, it's going to be rectangular. And when you click even on the button or even somewhere else on the screen, it's going to disappear. So this is the Git repository for this library. And as you can see, it's really active and up to date. The latest comic was just 37 minutes ago. So definitely check it out and give it a try. The link is in the video description. To add this library to your project, just scroll down on this GitHub page and copy this line implementation. Go to your project, open build.gradle file for the app module and paste that line in here. Sync and you are good to go. The layout for the main activity of this app is pretty simple. Just a button and a floating action button. The ID for the floating action button is fab and ID for the button is simply button. If you wanna get this code, click on the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. All right, and now let's get to the actual coding. Let's create a function for showing the floating action button prompt. So private fun, show fab prompt, and usually you wanna show the prompt only on the first launch of the app. Because of this, we need to remember if the app has already been launched before. So we need to use shared preferences. Let's create a val, which is immutable variable, pref manager, it's gonna be equal to preference manager, dot get default shared preferences, the context is this, and if not pref manager, dot get boolean did show prompt is the key and the default value is gonna be false and if we didn't show prompt we wanna show it now so let's write material tab target prompt dot builder this activity the target will be fab so set target set primary text click me then set secondary text I'm a floating action button aka fab then set back button dismiss enabled this says if pressing the back button is going to dismiss the tab target prompt. And let's set this to true. And set prompt state change listener. And we are gonna do it in the form of lambda. However, you could do it in the classic anonymous class object implementing an interface kind of way. And now if state is equal to material tab target prompt dot state focal pressed, which means that we press basically right inside the empty spot, or state is equal to material tab target prompt dot state non focal pressed, which means that we press somewhere else on the screen. So basically, if we pressed anywhere, we want to get preference editor. So val pref editor is equal to pref manager dot edit, then we want to write pref editor dot put boolean did show prompt and it's gonna be true and finally pref editor dot apply then we wanna show button prompt we are gonna write this method in just a bit and we mustn't forget to call show in order to show the floating action button prompt all right now let's create a show button prompt function so private fun show button prompt since this function is only called from the show fab prompt function we don't need to use any preferences or any such things in this function that's because show button prompt is not gonna get called unless the fab prompt is actually shown and the user clicks on it. So all we wanna write here is material tab target prompt dot builder this activity dot set target button set primary text press me set secondary text I'm a nice and simple button again set back button dismiss enabled is gonna be true. And now we are gonna make this prompt rectangular. We wanna write set prompt background to rectangle prompt background, actually to a new instance of rectangle prompt background. And we also wanna set prompt focal also to a new instance of rectangle prompt focal. You can create even your own shapes, but that is outside the scope of this video. Check out the documentation if you wanna learn more. And now we wanna show this prompt. All right, cool. And that's how easy it is to show prompts in your application. All that's left to do is to go to the onCreate function and call show fab prompt. Now let's run this and it's gonna look just like at the beginning of this video. Click click and let's exit this app and let's open it again and it's not going to show any prompts. 
And that's it for this video. If you want to get the code, click on the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. If this video helped you, please give it a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss more tutorials and library overviews like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.